I'm Mark Williams for PickupTrucks.com and we're here in the Allegheny Mountains of Pennsylvania where we've been given the opportunity to drive the 2014 Toyota Tundra. But it's not a significant overhaul or remodel. This is just a minor change, but there's still a lot of details to take a look at. The biggest change for 2014 is in the interior. This is completely redone. Completely new center stack, completely new gauges inside, and new materials, new trim levels for this new 2014 Toyota Tundra. Just specifically, this model that we're inside right now, the 1794 model, which is their top premium model to go head to head with the King Ranch and the Ram Longhorn. One of the best improvements that we like is that they've taken the center stack and moved it almost three inches. Now it's a lot closer and easier to see. Also, this is the next gen Entune system which works more like an iPhone than any other radio you've probably ever experienced. The gauge cluster itself, no more long barrels that are deep inside the the console and the gauge cluster. Now it's right easy to see, very modern. Also, transfer case is a Borg Warner now. It wasn't a Borg Warner before, so that has a couple of implications. Now, higher speed transitions from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive, and also Borg Warner, an American company, more American content in Toyota's full-size pickup truck. The model we're in right now is the 1794 top level trim package, completely unique leather that they have inside, always the same color, but the stitching and the quality that you see on the seats and on the dash and throughout the interior, probably some of the finest materials used that we've seen in any full-size pickup truck. What we have here today is the Crew Max. That means a lot of extra room for rear passengers, but Toyota engineers tell us that consumers were telling them that they didn't want the sliding rear seat and storage behind the rear seats. So they froze the rear seats up against the rear of the cab and they've allowed for rear seats to lock up. That gives them plenty of lockable storage here in the back. The biggest changes for the 2014 model are on the inside. The exterior has also been touched by designers as well. In fact, the front hood is almost two inches taller than the 2013 model and the whole face of the new Toyota Tundra is completely different. Designers told us that customers told them that they want, wanted something less bubble oriented and rounded, so they tried to incorporate a more chiseled look to each of the different grills that they have for the different trim packages. That includes new headlights and even on some trim packages, LED lights. At the back of the 2014 Tundra, not a lot of changes in the bed, but the tailgate has been redesigned. Tailgate spoiler up on top to help with aero and fuel economy. A new three-piece design for both front and rear bumpers to make it less expensive for consumers in case any damage occurs. And on the side, on the taillights, Vortex Generators, that's the actual name for it, that creates pressure at higher speeds for this Tundra to make it more stable going down the road. Even though these are carryover powertrains, Toyota gave us the opportunity to pull some very interesting trailers. All of them weighed between six, seven, and 8,000 pounds, and all of the vehicles that we had to do the towing with had the five, seven liter V8. We knew that engine was a strong puller, and that's exactly what it proved to us here at this event. They also gave us a chance to take it on a pretty nasty and muddy off-road course. So we got a chance to take one of the SR5 TRD packages with a brand new tire that they've specifically designed for off-road use with that TRD package and put it through some very sloppy, very muddy terrain. It did incredibly well. I, I think when people get an opportunity to test this new unique Michelin tire in the mud, it's going to be very impressive for them. Finally, how this truck actually does on real-world pavement is probably the most impressive thing. Yes, a lot of this mechanically is carryover, but they've fine-tuned, changed some of the spring pack spring rates, especially in the rear, and also made some very small fine-tuning changes to the front steering, both with the suspension and with the gearing. The result, believe it or not, this is a better driving, more stable vehicle when you're driving at higher and lower speeds on pavement. One of the design features we don't want to forget to mention, 
is the name of the truck right on the back. It literally looks like you've taken a branding iron and stamped it into the steel, and there's the name of your truck. So the 2014 Tundra, it's not completely new. It's not a complete remodel. It's more of a minor change. In fact, that's even what Toyota is calling it. Carryover powertrains, essentially a carryover frame, same wheelbases, same cam cab configurations, but a completely new exterior look and a hugely improved, and that's what we're happy about, interior. So they're gonna have five different trim levels. SR, that'll basically be the work truck. The SR5, the Limited, and the brand new Platinum and 1794 Premium models. So they'll still have the regular cabs for the lower end of the spectrum, but the higher end, both the Platinum and the 1794, are gonna have Crewmax only cabs available. Pricing is probably gonna come out closer to when these actually get into dealerships, which is still about a month or six weeks away. For more information about the new 2014 Toyota Tundra, pricing and specs, go to pickuptrucks.com.